What we have here actually is an enhancement that uh, our Intel Labs has produced over the Dash uh, protocol, which is used for video streaming. The objective of those enhancements is to increase user quality of experience. At the beginning, we have three enhancements that we are introducing today. One of them is the quality-based adaptation. In quality-based adaptation, we take advantage of content to quality, uh, and we use these values, which is the quality values, uh, and feed it back to the client, so the client can make better streaming decisions. So the client having the quality information as well as the bitrate information, it can actually make decision to use content of lower quality that provide better bitrate saving, if necessarily. Uh, and by doing this, the client can avoid going into some kind of playback pauses or stalling condition. Okay. And uh, as you see actually on the screen, uh, the client on the right is not using our, uh, our proposed algorithm and the one on the left is using our proposed algorithm and we are using some kind of network limitation to show the difference. So in, in limited network condition or bandwidth condition, the, the rate-based adaptation which actually gonna run into some kind of buffering or stalling while our algorithm actually can manage to go through it smoothly without any problem. Uh, this is a bit rate adaptation technique, this is a regular one, and this is a quality based adaptation technique. If network condition it changes a little bit and become difficult, so this one will go in more poses than this one. This is the second approach that we are proposing as well, it's called server assisted bit rate adaptation. Uh, this is actually to handle the cases where server is pretty much overloaded by client requests. So in normal cases when the server is overloaded by client requests, the server will start rejecting requests. And this will cause also client to stall, as you're going to see in the client on the right. Now, what we are having here is we are providing a feedback from the server to the client. Server is telling the client which bit rates to stream at. And by doing this, you have the client on the left actually streaming smoothly without any pauses as well. Now the third approach that we are proposing as well is called a dash manager. Uh, this is very useful when you have a multiple client, multiple server environment. The objective of the Dash Manager is to act as a coordinator. It figures out how many clients are there streaming the same content and how many servers are offering the, these content. And it keeps getting updates from servers about their streaming capabilities. So it figures out, it gets from the server how much bandwidth is available at this server to stream from. And once having this information and based on client requests, the server is basically sending this information to clients. So each client can figure out or can select which, fir uh, which server to stream from. And this is an example of a single client that has access to two servers. So based on bandwidth or network condition, the client starts first by streaming from server A. And after a while, network condition is going to get deteriorated. And once you get some feedback from the dash manager about other server availability, the client will actually automatically and seamlessly switch to server B. So in this case, the two clients are streaming from server, uh, different server now. This is streaming from server A, while this one is streaming from server B. And this is based on the information they got from the dash manager. If another condition is changed, as this happened right now, so now this one is streaming back from server B. And this one is still streaming from server B. Uh, most of them is actually uh, uh, inefficient use of bandwidth, uh, inefficient sharing between multiple clients and the multiple servers, and uh, the outcome is simply uh, many cases of bozing and, uh, and low quality streaming. So what we are having is basically we are trying to avoid this by adding more smart systems, uh, by using more information such as the quality of the content, as a metric to basically assist in streaming 